All right, so let's uh, give those objects uh, the white stripe in here. So let me zoom in on that guy and let me check something out. Um, let me take two faces here and let me smooth uh, it. Okay. All right, so what we want to do is we select some faces here in the center. I don't know if you can see this, so maybe you see it better from this angle of view here. So select those. Let me check that out. Mm, yeah, let's select those two here again um, also. Okay. And let's let's select um, the next two here as well. And then we say Um, control, right click, grow selection, and let's um, deselect this row here, and the last one, so that you have um, all the inside faces here selected, as you can see it from from this angle here, like this, and um, yeah, altogether we have from the ten uh, divisions here, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. And with those selected, um, yeah, we um, hit right click um, and then say assign the white glossy shader. And now we uh, do the same here on that smaller guy. Um, yeah, let let's 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 think. So I think it's more if I go to face mode here. This one, this one, this one, and okay. Let me hit Control grow selection and then I deselect this and the last one okay take a look at that it's looking good okay and let's go in and say again with those faces selected right click assign that white glossy shader <coughs> okay um, one thing we uh, have to do now or we can do now um, smooth those guys out and we can um, go into the hyper shade and we create another MIA material uh, MIA and again we hit control A to go to the attribute editor and then say we want to create another glossy finish and this time we change the color to red and then dial down the brightness here to uh, some something like a like a dark red yeah something like that dial down the re re reflectivity here okay somewhere about here and we can dial the reflectivity up to 1 and the glossiness down if we want to somewhere about here and then we call this red glossy shader all right so we get that mm. and now we take the seconds pointer here and assign that shader so click on that uh, object and then right click and then say red glossy shader okay so le let me select all of those objects and again say hit 3 to smooth those out and then I'm going here to my layers and I will hide the pointers because we are I am done with those and I'm also done with the rubber boats now let me bring in those um, <sighs> oh there there it is um, I'm talking about the, um, those other pointers here and those again um, if you hit one to go to uh, unsmooth version here um, we do the same process um, so the um, the this long end here this is going to be red and the first part of it should be uh, chrome as well so let's select some faces here go to face select all of those faces and yeah let's uh, select the same faces here on uh, on that guy all of those 
Um, maybe we just first select all of those, uh, the other two, hit one to go to uh, low poly view here, and then say, okay, over that thing, face, select all of those faces, and then over this guy here, face, and then shift, select the other faces, and again here, face, and then hit shift and select those faces. And then we want to grow the, the selection one more time so that we get those faces here as well. So control, right click, grow selection, and it should automatically uh, grow the selection here on the other two guys. And then we say, okay, right click, assign existing material, and then the red glossy. And now we use the same uh, uh, technique if you want to. Um, go here to edit, say invert selection, and then uh, right click and say assign existing material chrome. Okay, so we get, um, so we can go in here to object mode, that guy, and that guy. Select all of the objects here and hit 3 to smooth. And yeah, as you can see, we got the red part here and the chrome type uh, down here. Okay, so yeah, let's now hide uh, that layer again. And let me let me bring in everything we have here and let's uh, check out what we can uh, shade right now. So everything is in the scene here. Okay. So yeah, just for um, just for fun, let's uh, take a little render of that. So let me go here to the render options. Um, and in those options, um, I'm running uh, rendering with mental ray. And let's go here to, to the comments uh, comment tab, and let's yeah say the perspective camera, and let's uh, put it to one k square, or we could even render in five twelve, five twelve by five twelve. Um, go here to quality. It takes a second here to load up, and uh, set it from uh, the draft preset here to production. And let's close that. So now let me turn on the um, resolution gate. Okay. So now we have uh, the default lighting and the uh, black environment. So yeah, let's see how that looks. So let me open up the render window here and let's render this. Okay, so yeah, this is what is coming out. So you see the chrome type here, and I mean the reflections right now are not very good because we have a black environment and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, it's coming together. And what I see from here um, is one a little, yeah, I wouldn't call it issue, because um, under those rippled pieces here, yeah, and uh, under, so right there we see the, the main case, and that's a chrome type shader, and that's what I don't want, so we will go in later on and create um, some kind of uh, just a simple plane or stuff like that to bring it under that so that we can put a different shader uh, underneath those rippled plates and the numbers and um, yeah by the way where are my numbers oh I didn't turn those on okay um, okay so I think for, for this, this video, I'm done, and um, yeah, let's go on and take care about the UV layout for this guy and for this guy here, and uh, for this guy, um, and then yeah, we have to do some UV uh, work, and then we have to do some uh, textures here. Alright, so see you in the next video.